Hi everyone, this is Dan here from Table Tennis Daily. Today we'll look at two of T-Bar's latest blades, the Paul Drinker All-Round and the Offensive Classic, with the man behind the blades himself, GB number 1 and world ranked 47 Paul Drinker. On first inspection, these two blades come with a really nice, fresh design, with the All-Round having a blue handle and the Offensive having a red handle. These blades are both 5-ply and aimed at developing and intermediate level players respectively. There is also a soon to be reviewed carbon version which is aimed to be suited to advanced and elite players. Both blades feel smooth and very comfortable to hold. The all round blade is built with a combination of AOS and limber wood to provide soft feeling and control, whereas the offensive is built with AOS and hard applies to give great speed with control. The all round weighs 84 grams and the offensive blade weighs 88 grams. So let's see how these blades perform. Myself and Paul use the T-Bot Evolution MXP rubbers on both sides of the blades. First up, we looked at the All Round Classic, which is being used by Paul in the following footage. We found a huge benefit to this blade was the tremendous amount of dwell time and control it allows for. Paul executed topspin shots effortlessly. Due to Paul's ferocious power, I had difficulty blocking at times, but I definitely found the All Round helped me with controlling his speed due to the blade's good flex and soft feel. The combination of limber wood pliers used in the All Round Classic provides great control and gives you more time to impart high amounts of spin on the ball. This blade isn't as fast as offensive and carbon blades we've reviewed before. This doesn't mean, however, that I wouldn't recommend it to players trying to develop their strokes or players who aren't as interested in high end speed as it would be very good for them. After changing to the offensive classic, Paul started to get more speed from his shots and there was definitely more direct nature to this blade than the all round. Paul still produced a huge amount of spin, something I really struggled to adapt to due to the sheer velocity he could produce. This was very evident when playing against backspin. This spin helped set up Paul very well for the fifth ball attack. Drinkle has one of the fastest flicks in the game with electrifying speed. Paul noted how easy it was to flick with the offensive blade. Another attribute to Paul's armory is his counter tot spin, which again is even more effective with the offensive blade. The offensive classic I'd recommend for the player who has a well developed game and wants a bit more kick in their shots. Here are some points taken from match play, with both blades being used, where Paul shows me who's boss.
foi? TTD Conclusion The all round blade is very good for maximum control and ideal for a player who wants to develop solid strokes due to the added dwell time. However, if you're looking for something with a bit more power, the offensive blade would be of a better choice as it had a more direct, harder feel and is slightly faster than the all round due to its harder plies. All in all, both wood blades have excellent control and are ideal for beginners and intermediate players looking to develop their game. The blades are available to buy on the brebar.co.uk website. Stay tuned for our upcoming review with Paul where we take a look at his carbon blade. For more reviews on these blades and other products, check out our brand new equipment review center by clicking the link below where you can rate and review equipment yourself. We'd love to hear from your opinions and experiences with different table tennis products. Thanks for watching.